guys it's ellie k and it's my birthday it's my it's my birthday anyway so it's my birthday it is also my twin's birthday um so happy birthday to the both of us and whatnot but um that's not what this video is about but y'all see y'all 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 messing with the look y'all messing with the look y'all messing with the look <laughs> yeah okay so of course y'all seen the video so we're gonna talk about growing up shy you guys like <laughs> so for what i can remember i literally came out the womb shy like literally like literally from very young age three four five six you know shy didn't want to talk to nobody i didn't even talk to my grandma y'all i didn't even want to talk to my grandma i only talked to my brothers really and my mom that was the only people who really knew me like who saw my personality and who you know what i mean shy in school i didn't really have any friends i did have a best friend and that was pretty much my friend so i did have a best friend but that was only one one friend so just one friend but me i'm shy and all but once you get to know me and once i'm like once i realize that you're cool and i think you're cool and we like good and stuff like that like we could chill we chilling we, we laughing we you know what i'm saying um because <laughs> i still have the personality i still have the personality i was just shy i didn't want i was scared i was fearful all that stuff you know so um yeah it was honestly it was a struggle like in elementary like yeah um because i think there during that time you know you do a lot of group projects together elementary you do a lot of group projects together so and me having one friend and having like how many classes a day you know what i mean like it was like oh my god please 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 can, can we just work by ourselves like that's what i would want like just when i would hear them say oh get, pick a group especially when they had to when you when you had to pick your own group not them choosing the group for you but yeah i'll just be standing there like Is somebody gonna pick me? And then sometimes like my teacher would have to like just put me in a group because nobody put nobody put me in a group with them or you know. So yeah, like it was like that, y'all. Like for real. Um, but yeah, and like I said, I still have the personality. So <laughs> I was fashion I was a fashionista I was a fashionista in elementary you guys like my teacher would call me the fashionista like that was my nickname in school fashionista to my teachers at least so um yeah because I would dress up so cute you know of course school uniform like uniform but you know I got the nice cute jacket trench coat you know like I had like a big old piano bow with my piano earrings and my piano ring and my black and white bracelets. You know what I'm saying? I was very coordinated with my loafers on. You know what I mean? With my sparkly sequence blazer. Y'all, y'all, y'all. If I can find some pictures, I will, I will post it up here. Y'all, I was just, I'm still up to that, like that up to this very day. Anyways. Yeah. But also that being shy in elementary very much hindered me my growth my learning abilities my communication styles skills all that it stunned it it stunned it and when i mean by that i mean when i was in school i didn't want to learn i didn't want to look at anyone i didn't want to talk to anyone so i didn't fully I didn't fully absorb all the information that I should have gotten. You know what I mean? In school. Again, that's like with especially math. Math. Bitch, don't ask me about no math question. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't care if it's five plus five. I don't know. You just confuzzled my brain, cause don't do it. Okay, no. I'm not good at I'm not good at math, y'all. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying um communication i could i could be better at communicating i am getting better i i'm i'm telling you i'm doing great <laughs> if 10 year old kayla looked at me now and saw me now she wouldn't have believed that was me like i'm like no that's not me that's not me that's not me y'all like i wouldn't have believed it but 
I'm very proud of who I am today and things like that because we grow every day and we're growing every day and we're living our truth every day. So I don't care. I don't care if I'm not good at math. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Um, didn't make much friends. Of course, eventually, the longer I was in, the longer I was in um, school, like throughout the school year, I would make more friends. But it would be a slow crawl. It would be a slow crawl, y'all. Slow, slow. You know what I'm saying? If I made friends with somebody who was more active and more talkative. They would usually integrate me with their group of people. So that's how I got my little group of friends. It was never just me being the star, the shine of the show. No, 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 it was not. No. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so back to education. Um, yeah, didn't want to learn. I was literally in my own mind, in my own world a lot of the time in elementary like a lot of the time like insane like you would probably think like something's mentally wrong with her because she's way she's too like you know what i mean like i failed fifth grade you guys i repeated fifth grade twice i was always a year behind and y'all got y'all i have a twin so i'm just being honest i'm just i'm, I'm just being honest I'm living my truth, y'all. Okay. So do not be like me. So when I see people who when I so when I see young girls who shy, things like that, I'm like, get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. I know it's hard. I know it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Get out of it. Get out of it. Live for yourself. Be for yourself. Do for yourself. And I'm thankful for my mother because she pushed me every each step of the way. Okay, she pushed me. She pushed me. Like, she'll put me. She'll push me to talk, and to do things, and all the stuff like that. So, yeah, you guys, to have that support is really great. It's really great. If you guys don't have that support, I'm your support. If you got like, comment down below, like whatever you feel. Comment down below what you're scared of. Why are you scared of? Why do you think you're shy? Comment down below. Um, I'm your supporter. Come here. I got y'all. I got y'all back. Okay? I got y'all back. Okay? I'm serious, you guys. Being shy is not... It's not it. It's not it. So, um, just talk about briefly middle school. Middle school was pretty much the same thing. Um didn't make too much friends i did have a best friend um most of my friends who i had was the was very talkative loud kind of friends so like i said they just integrated me in with their group not all of them but some of them integrated me in their group and stuff like that so i wasn't always alone i wasn't i started being less alone in middle school you know stuff like that so that was really great <laughs> so and then some of the people who i was friends with in middle school they came to high school they came to the same high school with me so that was also great too so i already had friends going into high school but again it was very small amount but um was less alone you know always had somebody to sit with at lunch to talk to most of the time i always had somebody in the classroom who was friends with me plus ninth grade was probably the year when I realized like when I really fully realized like Kayla you can't be shy my mom pushed me yes but you have to do you have to want to do it yourself so ninth grade was like I have to do it so that's when I started to do it do do the work do the work ninth grade um, started talking a little bit more I did start making a little more friends and stuff like that. And then 10th grade, made more friends, joined cheerleading. I was still shit at math, you guys. I was still struggling in like math and communicating and stuff like that. But I was still learning. So um, yeah, I did cheer. It was fun. But I was still shy. I like, 
okay with me i'm shy when it comes i was shy during talking but if it was like dancing performing i could more so do that than talk like physically talk i'm like no please please don't have me talk like presentations i hate it when i would get a present i know i'm all over the place you guys but when there was a presentation like a wave of heat would come over my body and i'll be sweating and my heart is racing and i'm like stuttering over my words a bit and i'm like it sounds like i'm about to cry like how did i survive i don't know maybe because i was kind of cute but I didn't really think I was that cute in in, in middle I mean in high school. So, anyways, but yeah. So I started making more friends. I made I did make more friends, you guys. So that was also a good thing. Eleventh eleventh grade year was really the year that I really stepped up my like my game a little more. I started making way more friends. I started skipping skipping classes with people and um, go you know. People wanted me to bring, go to table to table with them, you know, at lunch and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I started being more, more active vocally and all that stuff like that. But 11th grade was when I got diagnosed with lupus. So that was kind of like, uh, mm, mm. that was kind of, mm. but I stuck with it. It really put a hold on school like i would be going to the er hospital so many times you guys i had to get work sent to me to home because i wasn't i wasn't at school i was sick i was sick i was in pain and when i would go to school like y'all know high schools are big big and big so walking upstairs and just walking to class i was always gonna i was always if the class wasn't close by i was late and I got tardy until my mom came to school and was like, hey, look, she got a, she got this, she got, she got lupus, don't play. Here's the paperwork, you know what I mean? So, and then they started, they started being chill on it. And then I was able to use it, like the elevators and stuff like that. And then the teachers, since all the teachers knew that, you know, since all the teachers knew, they'll be like, are you okay, Kayla? How are you feeling? And stuff like that. So that was cute. And there was one teacher, my science teacher, biology, no, not biology, that's, not biology, but um, science teacher, and he would always ask me like, "If you're, are you okay?" Like he would really ask me, like, "Are you okay? You doing good?" Like stuff like that. So I'm really, really thankful for that. <laughs> I'm talking about my lupus now, but 12th grade year, I was really like, I was still shy, but I was really like, I'm starting not to care. Like I really don't care. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then when I got out of high school. Oh, it was over. It was over. It, it was over. Y'all. Y'all. You know what I mean? Like, I'ma do me. I'ma do me. And all that stuff like that. So, um, the big, the big bang was really when I got out of high school, which is usual because, you know, in high school, you get judged a lot. When you're out of high school, you, you cannot, you're less around those people. You get to do whatever you want. Like, you don't have to sit in a class with ignorant people. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I never got bullied throughout my whole experience through school. I never got bullied, never got talk, really talked about. I, I never got really bullied. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I wasn't ugly. Like, I'm not trying to say like, you know, I'm not trying to be like vain and then be like, I was like, I wasn't like ugly. You know, I always matched with my clothes. I always had nice tennis shoes, stuff like that. So. Um, and I was in a cheerleading team, you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, after high school, I really flourished. And here I am today. I'm 22 today, turning 22. So, I really wanted to talk about this subject because, yeah, little girl Kayla would look at me and be like, she's a rock star. She's a rock star. I want to be like her. I want to be like her. I want to be like her. Right. Anyways, so that is really all I wanted. So I just wanted to share my experience about what it was like for me to be shy. I also want to talk about my mental status, just my whole mental status, just being shy in general. I 
I did feel alone, but I never really I I liked being I liked being alone. I liked being alone. I was always the only girl, so I played with my Barbies alone. Um, I came up, you know what I mean? Like I always I didn't mind being alone, but I wanted friends. Cause who don't want to have friends, especially a young girl? So I didn't mind being alone. It didn't like really you know and i'm still up to this day like i like to be alone y'all i still don't have like friends up to this day and i'm very much so out there i'm very much so myself things like that and i still up to this day don't have like friends you know what i mean like you could call every day or to go out with every day you know what i'm saying i still don't have friends and i'm okay with that and i'm happy i am happy to be where i'm at i'm happy with who i am i just want to be me and hopefully inspire other people to change themselves if they are shy or just to change in general there's nothing wrong with change um and yeah so yeah you guys growing up shy so that is all that I really have to say. If I missed anything specific, I apologize. Please comment down below if you have any other questions. I also want to point out that anxiety was like my best friend. Like anxiety, like I said about the presentations. Whew. I was still having bad anxiety even when I got out of, not bad anxiety, but anxiety even when I got out of high school, but during high school, during school life, anxiety filled, okay, filled, filled up to the brim as the cup spilleth over of anxiety, like, and I, today, I can say that I have little to no anxiety i think everybody has anxiety um it's just they control it they can control it a lot better um because you hear celebrities all the time they get nervous about you know going on stage every time and they do this like all the time so i think people have anxiety either way it goes it's just how you handle it are you gonna beat it or are you gonna let it beat you so if you guys want more specific topics on how I kind of helped with my anxiety and how I control it and how it's all like good and you know what I'm saying now, um, please comment down below or I'll probably just make a video and <laughs> you don't even have to comment. But um, yeah, so this video I think is getting long now. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment, repost, reshare, all that good stuff because it's my birthday. Anyways, so you guys, again, thank you for watching and come back soon. Bye, you guys. And...